Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I am on my way to work. I'm going to my new school and I'm gonna work with one of my teammates. We're gonna to plan today. I think we're planning on finishing up ELA plans, which is great. Um, we're planning for the entire school year, so basically what we're doing is we're looking at standards, deciding which ones need to be taught when, and um, kind of just moving them around when, how long do we think we'll need to teach each standard. And obviously, if things change throughout the year, we're gonna change it up, but for now, this is just, we're just kind of creating a curriculum map um, and just really diving into when we're teaching what. My teammates are the people that I've worked with in the past, so I'm like coming into this little niche, this kind of like, you know, family that I used to be in and um, just rejoining how they do things. So um, every week they take turns bringing lunch for the team. And so last week and the week before they provided lunch for me, so this week I'm providing lunch for us. And I brought sushi from Fry's, which, I have been on like a serious sushi kick. I don't know what it is, but I've been wanting sushi like every single day. No, I'm not pregnant, I promise. Um, and so I brought sushi. And then I also grabbed some salt and vinegar chips. I love those and some flavor blasted goldfish. I love those. So I'm just on my way to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna stop by there and grab a coffee and probably a bagel with cream cheese. And, um, and then I'll be on my way. So I'm wearing my teacher all day, every day t-shirt from Lipstick and Littles and I love how this looks together, like the teal with the black. I think it's so cute. Also, I showed you guys in my last vlog my nails. I love them. Um, when I went to the nail salon, I told the guy that I wanted thin acrylics because that's what these are, they're acrylics. And he was like, oh, I got you. And they're like perfect. They're exactly what I wanted. So my plan is to grow out my nails and then start doing the dip stuff where you like, I think it's called S and S or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm hoping I can grow them out a little bit. What can I get for you? Hi, can I please get a large vanilla iced coffee? Cream or sugar? Cream, please. Okay. And can I also grab a... Can I get a bacon, egg and cheese croissant, please? Hey guys, so I'm here and I am in my classroom and I just walked into, they had moved all of the furniture this way a little bit. Um, because they're going to be replacing some of the wall panels. As you can see, some of them are pretty uh, damaged. And so these are actually bulletin board walls. So they're going to be replacing all of these panels. And then they're actually going to take this wooden piece, two of them, and they're going to put them on this wall for me because I'm planning on hanging backpack hooks along this wall. We do have cubbies here but the cubbies are awfully small and because I'm doing flexible seating, there's no way we're gonna be able to fit a binder, a book bin, and a backpack in these cubbies. So um, we are an avid school, so each kid does have a binder. And then I'm also gonna do book bins for um, library books, supplies, things like that. So um, yeah, this is the room. It's way bigger than my other room. I think, and um, it in, it did come with this table, it comes with this table, and it comes with a round table, but I don't know where they put the round table. They better not have taken it out, or I'm gonna be mad. Oh, it's over there, okay. So the round table's there. Um, they're gonna get rid of all the desks for me, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then I think I'm gonna keep a couple chairs because sometimes kids do like sitting in chairs at tables, but Cabinets are still full of stuff, full of supplies. So we have extra binders, and then there's all this colored, this is cardstock paper. This is not just normal paper, um, this is cardstock. And then um, some other things that I'll probably get rid of. But I also have drawers, so I can put things in drawers. I have this big cabinet, these two, these two, and then I have these two cabinets. This cabinet, which I do plan to move over there. I might actually do that like later. I have these filing cabinets and then this desk, which I might ask them to remove because I have an idea for a desk 
for myself. So that's the room. Oh, also they're taking this TV down as well. So um, that's the room. Looks like Jody might already be here, but she's hiding because there's a, oh no, this is warm. Uh, that's probably from before, but I'm just gonna get set up and wait for Jody to get here. Hello. You're gonna think I'm a freak talking no. to a camera. No, I won't. Go. You promise you won't judge me? Okay. So we're sitting here planning. Hi, Jody. Hello. Hello, world. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jody. And Jody was my first ever mentor teacher. Three years. We Doesn't that together. feel weird that you're working with? It? I created something awesome. <laughs> I'm really excited to be working with my mentor teacher. Even though my other mentor teacher is not here, it's still, I still feel like you were like, Would it be the okay better to say mentor. that your student teaching met teacher, you were, did your student teaching with was probably not the best They teacher. taught me what not to do. True, and then you had to take over the class from day one, and so it made you a stronger teacher yes. because you had to do that. Yes. You should, it was a great. It was a. It was a good experience. learning experience. But I did learn a lot from you, though, because I was with you for like three three years. Mm -hmm. and I was only with him for one. Sounds like we were dating. I know. We were dating for three years. You're like my teacher mom. <gasps> I love it. My teacher mom. You can call me. Um. You can call me mom then. Okay. I'm old enough to be your mother. No, you're not. Pretty sure I am. I'm 27. I'll be 28 this year. What would that make you when you had me? I'm gonna need you to pause so I can um, <laughs> do the math. The problem and then we can get back to it. <laughs> so right now, um, we've already mapped out our ELA map and our math map. So now we're just kind of looking through resources and sharing and putting them all on Google Drive so that we all have access because the way we're gonna plan together is we're gonna plan when to teach the standard and then each teammate can choose which resource they want to use to teach the standard. So we're not all using the same thing but we're all gonna try to cover and teach the standard the best we can. So we're just looking through all of our files and sharing and searching and eating junk food. Hey guys, so we just finished up planning for the day. We got a lot done. Um, we are basically all the way planned through December and we even have resources picked out and listed. And I got word that I can go into my classroom on July 16th. So I think that that week I'm gonna come in on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and start putting my classroom together. And my fingers are crossed that maybe, maybe, maybe my mom will come and help me as well. So that's really exciting. That gives me like three weeks before school starts to work on my classroom. It's amazing. Hi guys, happy Friday. Today Cash and I are hanging out at the house and I just got a ton of chores done. Um, we have lots of things we need to do today, but I've already started working on everything and I'm pretty sure I can get through everything pretty quickly. I'm just waiting for this guy to go down for a nap. I tried earlier and he didn't really want it, so um, we're gonna try again. But basically, I needed to call the Apple, people and restore my computer, which I did, that was perfect, checked off. Then I needed to call or get Apple to um, reset Scott's computer's password, but then I guess something's wrong with Scott's computer, so that's not gonna happen. I had to package up the computer, I had to package up our Cox um, stuff, because it like wasn't working in our room and we had to send it back. So I had to do that. And then I had to get my W-4 filled out, my direct deposit forms filled out, and Cash's birth certificate application filled out because we never did that and now we're going on a trip and we need his birth certificate. So I'm doing that. Then after he naps, once he wakes up, we're gonna go to the post office, mail all of that. I'm gonna open a P.O. box and then we need to go to the Goodwill and take that box in for donation. <sighs> And it's just so much. And then I think I'm going to do some shredding because we have a ton of like old mail and trash in this box. And this is my office by the way, it's like a complete disaster. And I would like to get it cleaned up and like organized. 
So I need to shred all of that. And I have a new Cinderella wig here that I need to put away and make sure that it's not ruined because it got stuff stacked on it when we were unloading my thing. And my house is a complete mess. Look at it. This is just wild. So this guy is just hanging out and playing. I'm making myself something to eat and we're just trying to survive the day together, huh? Are we surviving? Are you not wanting to take a nap today? Huh? What are you doing? Also, during his nap, if he ever does take one, I'm gonna work out while he does nap, so. <sighs> I also need to go next door and let the dog out to go to the bathroom. So there's just a lot of stuff today. Lots of stuff. Fun stuff. Hello, everyone. Um, so I cleaned up the kitchen only to make another mess. I went through a bunch of documents and files and like bags full of stuff from my parents' house and kind of organizing it. Um, just like random stuff I need to put away. But one of the things that I got was a giant $7,000 hospital bill and I was almost gonna poop myself because I thought we had paid everything already and that was already a lot. So when I saw this bill, I was like, oh my God. I called and I checked online and online it said I had a balance of zero. So I was really confused. So I called them and they were like, oh yeah, you're fine. Your insurance covered it. You have a balance of zero. So I was like, oh my gosh, because that's a big bill. And um, that's not the kind of money that girlfriend has right now. So um, yeah, so I'm just cleaning up the house. Cash did finally go to sleep and I'm just getting a lot of things done before we uh, go to the post office. Like I said, we were going to do. I did get those boxes loaded up into the car though so that as soon as he wakes up I can feed him and then we can uh, get going. So I'm just trying to do some last minute things before he gets up and then I'm gonna come home. Ooh, that lighting was no good. Then I'm gonna come home and I got something kind of exciting right here. So I'm gonna be uh, filming a little video. Um, I don't know if I'll film it today. I might have to film it tomorrow. Uh, just because I'll have more time. So that's what's going on over here. Um, I found this cute little thing that I used to have at my desk and I think I might use it. And then um, just filling out my planner for things I need to do next week. And yeah, there's never enough hours in the day. Hey guys, it is Saturday today. And we are just hanging out. We went and got Chipotle. I had to take it out of the bowl because it was like overflowing. I'm editing a video and Cash is playing. I'm letting him just like hang out, play with himself. He's perfectly fine down there and I'm letting him just kind of like explore on his own and like crawl around before I put him down for a nap. He did not want to go down for a nap this morning, so it was a struggle. I just went to the post office to mail all of that stuff and I realized that it was FedEx like 30 minutes after standing in line. So I'm gonna have to go Monday and mail that, but I think on Monday I'm gonna go to Ikea and run a couple of other errands. I do have a babysitter for cash, so I think Monday will be fine. And um, I can just do that real quick. 